Picking up back with Santa Claus. Where we picked up number seven is now we're talking about the gentleman. J-U-L-T-O-M-T-E-N of Sweden. This guy is an avenue that comes into a fork. He comes in with the other religions, with the other traditions, with the other things that comes into one main avenue, Santa Claus. And why are we discovering this guy? Why are we doing Because we're looking at the history of this man called Santa Claus. And already by now, as a born-again Bible-believing Christian, you ought to say, this is it. This guy's done. But we are going to finish and complete this study entirely. I hope you've already fallen away from this character in your family. I gotta turn the light on. It's getting dark. Now the gentleman, even though he was protective and loving, he was easy to offend. And his vengeances or justices extended from small pranks like a stout box on the ears to a more sociopathic chastisement by killing off livestock and ruining of the farmer's wealth. Well, wait a minute. This guy avenues of Sweden into Santa Claus and the only way you can describe this thing as sociopathic? This is the same guy who, who is a, a male and yet calls himself Santa, a female, a cross-dresser. He doesn't even know what sex he is. And in America today, well, that's just perfectly proper, but in the Bible, it's an abomination. So here is this guy of Sweden. Characteristics that runs not along parallel, but runs into Santa Claus. He's easily offended and has pranks. Killing livestock and ruining the wealth of the farmer. The Tontemis, T-O-M-T-E-N-I-S-S-E, -S -S -E, was a traditionalist. See that word tradition? There's that word that follows Santa Claus, St. Nick, Father Christmas, the Tontemis, the Roman Catholic Church. It seems like every page of this report, the word tradition, and I didn't set it up like that. The traditionalists who did not like changes in the way things were done at the farm. So what? I've had jobs where things have changed and I've got upset here in the head, but I don't go ruin the business. I don't go start killing things. I don't start doing destruction. I don't have a peewee attitude and wet my diapers and cry on the floor because there's a change. And yet this character does. And he's already described as a sociopathic. That avenues right into Santa Claus. Another easy way to upset him was rudeness. I'm a street preacher. I get all kinds of rudeness directed to me. I get all kinds of words at me. I get all kinds of things thrown at me because I preach the gospel on the street. And it may upset me, be angry, but sin not. Farm workers swearing. Get over it. They're going to cuss. Urinating in the barns. Well, if you got to go, or not hailing the creatures well, would be well with. Well, that one would be called P E T E, uh, P, P E T A, PETA. This guy gets upset the way the animals are being treated, just like PETA. One was also required to satisfy the spirit with gifts. The spirit. Did you get that? You know there's a Holy Spirit and there's an unholy spirit. There's a godly spirit. And there's a satanic spirit. A specific gift. Ooh, it's really specific. Was a bowl of porridge on Christmas night. There it is. Yield right into Santa Claus Avenue. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. 
What is that today? That's leaving milk and cookies. When I was a boy and I grew up in this mess, in an unsaved house, we or I would mil leave milk and cookies. This guy wants porridge. Peas pie is hot. Peas pie. No, I was trying to remember old Earth's rhyme with porridge. On Christmas, of 365 days he can choose. He wants it on Christmas night. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. If the Tom, Tom T, T O M T E, T O M T E, was not given his payment, well, I'll be. Jesus Christ requires no payment. God requires nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. Religion says do works. Religion says buy candles. Religion says put it in the plate. Religion says kill, shed blood. Religion says cash, check, or money or TV, TV and radio evangelists, give us your money. T-O-M-T-E says you got to give a payment. This is religion. This is not true Christianity. Of Jesus Christ in the gospel. That Jesus Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Jesus made the payment for us. Isaiah 53. We don't have to pay nothing. But you got to pay this guy who's going to ruin to Santa Claus. You got to be a good boy for Santa Claus. That's works. Not of works, at least any man both. Not of, uh, for by grace are you saved of faith. Not what you do. But you got to give this guy a payment. He would leave the farm or house or occupy mischief such as tying the cow's tail, tails together in the barn, turning objects upside down, and breaking things like a troll. Let me ask you a question. About this guy of Sweden, has there ever been a factual report documented with two or three witnesses according to the Bible that somebody reached into that barn and tied two cow's tails together. Or is this a figment of someone's imagination? Is this a fairy tale? That sneeze is coming. So forgive me. Oh, forgive me. Huh? Does this guy really exist like Santa Claus does not really exist? Or is it just tall tales? Like, and listen, if this guy does not exist and it's just tales and rumors and stories, that's the avenue of Santa Claus. Has anybody ever seen this Tumiti? T-O-M-E-T. Anybody ever see him? Anybody ever see the actual real Santa Claus? Absolutely not. So you see, we're marching down Santa Claus Lane. The Tumiti, whatever, T-O-M-T-E. Likes his porridge with a pat of butter on the top. Wow. Would you like me to eat it for you too, Mr. Tomoti? You sound like a spoiled brat at the Toys R Us store. Some people do not get their own way. And when they scream and holler and do tricks because they don't get their own way, you're an undisciplined brat child. Throw the conniption fit because you didn't get what you wanted. Baby, sissy, Ahab, let Jezebel take care of the kingdom. That's the thing you want your children to, to follow, and then you wonder why your children are unruly. Christians, do not let your children leave food and drink out for Christmas Eve to feed the spirits. You know, Halloween night, here we are again. You know, they would bring, in certain countries, they would bring food and drinks to the graveyard to the descendants and to the family that has died for them to enjoy. The Egyptians would bring food and stuff to the Pharaoh's tomb and so in his afterlife he could eat. And now we're seeing giving food to trolls and to spirits. That's satanic. 1 John 4, 1 through, 12, uh, 1 through 2, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits where they are God, 
because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is God. They do call it the Spirit of Christmas, don't they? Is it the Spirit of Christmas? Let me ask you something. You take your little child to that Santa in the mall or the store or the parade. Walk up to that Santa Claus and ask him, has Jesus Christ, God, come in the flesh? And if his answer is no, he is not of the Holy Spirit. He is not of the Spirit of God. He's an Antichrist. Ask him all. And according to first, uh, according to John four, first John four one through two, if that man dressed up as Santa, if that man as Santa Claus does not profess Jesus Christ is God, and it was virgin born. He's not real. He's a liar. He's a false spirit. And if he proclaims Jesus Christ. Then he's a worldly Christian as we've already discovered, discovered it before. He's just making money. While worshipping and serving Satan. Okay? You don't like it? That's tough. That's what we've been going through. If you are a Christian and doing anything with this Santa Claus to make a living. To fool and deceive little children. You might as well tie a millstone around your neck and be cast in the outer parts of the sea. For deceiving. John 4.10 Jesus answered and said unto her If thou knowest the gift of God Gift of God And who it is that says to thee Give me the drink Thou wouldst have asked him And he would have given thee living water Acts 2.38 Then Peter said unto him Repent and be baptized every one of you In the name of Jesus Christ For the remissions of sins And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost We're matching the gift you're supposed to give the troll I imagine that gift you're supposed to give to Santa to the gift that God has given me. For God so loved me that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I am showing you God's gift and not this satanic creature you given him again. Acts 10.45 And they have the circumcision which believe were astonished. As, they, as many as came to Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. Romans 6.23, I've already quoted, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Ephesians 2.8, For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of ourselves, it is a gift of God. When you have a religion that says you are to give the gifts to the gods, small g, you are in a satanic religion because when you are in Christianity, the gift is Jesus Christ and that came from God. It can't come from you. The Tomote, whatever his name, T-O-M-T-E, is linked to farm animals in general. Ooh. Crossing the means there. Human animal. Monkey to man? Evolutionists? Now we call science into this mess. The Tomote is linked to farm animals in general. But his most beloved animal was the horse. Ever read all the horses in the Bible? A lot of horses in the Bible. Believe had it that one could see which horse was the Tomote's favorite as it would be especially healthy and well taken care of. You have now given the credit for a healthy horse. Not to God, but to this Tomote. Whatever his name is. That ain't worth trying to say. If God has given you a healthy horse, God of all living, that created a horse is Genesis 1. See, a doctor practices what God knows. 
and if a vet can take care of your animal, it's only because God has given the wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding to take care of that vet. But that all that all the all the animals are is of God, because God said through Jesus Christ that He feeds the animal. He tends to funerals of dead birds. Now you've given healthy animals. You've given the credit to this make-believe creature like Mother Nature. Sometimes the tumulte would even braid its hair and tail. Anybody ever see it? Have you ever put the horse in the stall at night and woke up the next morning for some reason without no humans? Ever found a horse to be braided without humans? Or is it a tale like in the middle of the night when you went to bed, you woke up in the morning, there's all the presents? Without humans. Without parents. Christmas time and farm animals. Oh, that's interesting. Christmas time and farm animals. Luke 2, 7. She brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke 2, 12. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Luke 2, 16. And, the name, and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. 1828 Webster's Dictionary. Manger. Number one. A, a trough or box in which fodder is laid for cattle. Or the place in which horses and cattle are fed. You're now at the nativity scene of Jesus Christ. Religion has come in. Lies and spirits have come in. Psalms 20 verse 7. Some trust in chariots. Some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. You know how many times when I studied this Santa Claus, Jesus Christ came into place once, maybe two, maybe I may I made five times, because there's a story that Santa visited Jesus when he was born, believe it or not, and there are figurines out there that are made with a kneeling Santa at baby Jesus. So if Santa is kneeling down before Jesus in the manger, that means Santa pre-existed Jesus Christ. Even though we've read about St. Nicholas lived between 270 A.D. and 343 A.D. Friend, A.D. is not before Jesus. That's B.C. Let's keep reading. Slowly but surely, commercialism had made him look more and more like American Santa Claus. Ooh, now we're going to get into Americanism. But the Swedish Jomolte, J-U-L-T-O-M-T-E, the Norwegian Jolnose, J-U-L-E-N-I-S-E, the Danish Jolman, J-U-L-E, M-A-N-D, you see we're getting to a certain word here, and the Finnish, Finnish, Jopukai, J-O-U-L-U-P-U-K-K-I. In Finland, he is still called the Yule Goat, Y-U-L-E, tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 a bull, bull, bull. We've got to the Yule celebration. Although his animal features have disappeared. You mean his tailbone? You mean his little thing behind the ears? You mean the tonsils? You mean the, the pendants? They're not, they're not, they're, they're there, but they're not needed no more. They're remnants and how we used to have webs and all that. Friend, that's evolution. 
You have now got science and religion combining for, and we're going to see science in the rocket science of military in the United States and NORAD pretty soon, Lord willing. We have now ventured into evolution and science and religion. Still has features and traditions, traditions, traditions that are rooted in lo local culture. He is still often pictured on Christmas cards, no the word Christmas, and house and garden decorations as a little man of Jenny Nostrum's mind, capital N Y S T R O with two dots over it, M apostrophe S mind. Little garden troll. Gnomes. How many Christians got them in your yards? And here he shows up, the gnomes, the, 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 the trolls, here they show up with a liar, with a spirit, with Christmas, with traditions, with evolution, the Catholic Church, Diction uh, uh, Webster's Dictionary. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not done yet. Hold on. Jenny Nostrum's mind often with a horse or cat. Or riding on a goat. Or in a sled pulled by a goat. You know what Abraham offered instead of Isaac? You know what two animals in the law state that you were to sacrifice one and you were to let the other one go free? Do you know what animal the satanic uh, worshippers represent as Satan? And for many people, the idea of the farm tomote still lives on. That means he's still going in 2016 as Santa Claus. If only in the imagination and literature. So they, at least with this tumult, at least they're saying it's a figment of someone's imagination. It is something that's written in a book, but it's not real. They won't say that about Santa Claus. Webster's Dictionary. When you're talking about Yule. A Christmas. The Christmas season or Christmas festival. It's a combination of Yule Tide, Old English, especially a name of a pagan last excuse, me, especially a pagan feast lasting twelve days. Oh, wait a minute. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. How many lyrics are to that song? Here we go. We are on the highway of hell going 65 miles per hour downhill in neutral and picking up speed on this Santa Claus. Now we're getting Christmas carols that are sung over the radio. We're getting Yule, which, which is a pagan feast. Christian, you got a Yule log? You want me to do a study about that so you can hear about the Yule log and the Yule tide season? That I can ruin that one for you? Related to the Old Norse. Swedish, J-U-L. Gothic, J-I-U-L-E-I-S. Genesis 22.8. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. John 1, 29. The next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him, saying, Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. John 1, 36. And looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. You take a goat. I'll take the lamb. You know what they had on the Passover night? Was it a goat or was it a lamb? Oh, let's see. Exodus 20, verse 4. 
Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above. Birds, pterodactyls, eagles, bald eagles, flags, or that is in the earth beneath. Worms, cockroaches, or that is in the waters underneath, under the earth. Whales, fish. Deuteronomy 5.18 Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that's in the heaven above or that's in the earth beneath or it is that in the waters beneath the earth. So God is against graven images of worship. Okay. We got done with that one. Next topic. You ready for this one? I'll try to fit this one before we get to the really bad one. I got my marker here set. Even if we have plenty of time, where we're going to stop this one. Father Christmas. Now, what religion calls their people Father? And what does the Bible say? Call no man your father upon the earth. We'll look at that again. Who doesn't want to say that? Father Christmas. That right there is already biblically wrong. It ought not be on the tongue of a Christian, but we're studying, trying to help you out, trying to get you right with the Lord. Father Christmas is the name used in many English-speaking countries outside the United States for a figure relating with Christmas. We got a date, we got a religion, we got a man. A related figure with the same name in other languages exists in several other countries, including France. P Pierre Noel. P E R E N O E L. I'm going to try to pronounce these, but I'm going to spell them. Spain. Papa Noel. Padre Noel. 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 Go to hell. With Santa Claus. We just hit another hymn. A Christmas carol. And how many times is that sung in churches? Russia. Deed Moroz. D-E-D-M-O-R-O-Z. -E -E Grandfather Frost. Frosty the snowman. With a, oh. What's the other one named the Frost? Jack Frost? Nipping at my teeth? Look at all the Christmas carols we're hitting. Did you know Christmas carols are of this satanic worship? Almost all Hispanic South America, Papa Noel. Brazil, Papai Noel. Portugal, Pai Nato. P A I N A T A L. Well, I know Nato. When my wife was pregnant, we would say postnatal. Baby. Baby. Italy. Babio Natale. B A B B O N A T A L E. Ireland. Shanty. Shanty. Santi. S A N T Y. Armenia. Dus Puka. D Z M E R P A P I K. India. Christmas Father. Oh, so Christmas has a father. Andoria, Pere Noel, Romania, Mos Caricum, M O S C R A C I U N, and Turkey, Noel Baba, Baba, B A B A. Matthew 23 9, call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, capital F, which is in heaven. Matthew 5 48, be therefore perfect, even as your father, capital F, which is in heaven is perfect. John 5, 18. Therefore the Jews sought more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but said also that God was his capital F Father, making himself equal with God. John 17, 11. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come unto thee, Holy Father, capital F, keep thou thine own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one, as we are one. Look at that. Stealing the name of God the Father Almighty. Father Christmas. Santa Claus. 
in Roman Catholic cities and country. In England, their earliest known image, Exodus 20, verse 4, Deuteronomy 5a, of Christmas does not define him as old or refer to him as father. He's not an old father in England. A carol credited to Richard Smart, Rector, R-E-C-T-O-R. -E you know what that is? That's a title given to a church person. <laughs> a pine tree. P-L-Y-M-T-R-E-E. -E, from 1435 to 1477. So we're A.D. Takes the form of a song. Conversion. Between a choir and a figure representing Christmas. Virously addressed as Noel. N-O-W-E-L-L. -L, Sir Christmas. S-I-R-C-H-R-I-S-T-E-M-A-S. -S and My Lord Christmas. M-Y-L-O-R-D. C H R I S T E M A S. I want you to get these spellings because I'm saying them wrong. I don't want you to say as an excuse because Stiley couldn't pronounce it. I'm free. I'm going to spell it. This man, Santa Claus, is tied with a holiday. That's not Christmas. I mean, it's not Christmas. Oh, I keep saying not Christian get messed up there it's Christmas it's not Christian however the detailed description of Christmas as a as a merry old man appeared in the early 17th century the rise of Puritanism had led to the increased condemnation condemnation of the traditions handed down from the pre-reformation times Particularly communal feasting and drinking. The Puritans were against that. Give them credit there. They even made it laws in the in the in America to get rid of this slop. Give them that much credit. As arguments deepen, those writing in backing of their traditional celebrations often personify Christmas. As a respected, kindly old gentleman, given to good cheer, but not excess. Go ahead, have wine, just don't get drunk. Let's steal from the Bible again. You know, in the book of Proverbs, Solomon, inspired by the Holy Spirit, has personified wisdom as a woman. For the glory of God, not the glory of man. And here this gentleman is glorified and made his old man with wisdom and, and good characteristics that we can get we can drink intoxicated liquor as long as we don't get too intoxicated and we can have our traditional celebrations as long as it don't offend anybody. They refer to the characters characterization of Christmas as old Christmas or Father Christmas. How old? You know, the Bible reference God is old, even though he has no years. So are they trying to say that this Christmas is older than God? As old as God? To make it equal with God? You know what Christmas is? It's Christ Mass. You know what Mass is to the, to the Catholic Church? It's God. That bread and that wine literally becomes the body and blood of Jesus Christ. And Acts 20, 28 says the blood of God is the blood of Jesus Christ. So the Christ mass to them, to the heretics, to religion, is God. So Christ mass is God, Father God, who has no age. Christmas. Webster's Dictionary. Before 1150, Middle East Christ Massey. 
C R I S T M A S S E. Old English, Christie's Massey. I can't. It's C R I S T E S M with an A E together, S S E, or Mass of Christ. Two, Lady Day, Midsummer's Day compared, M I C H E L, oh, Michael Mass. Lady Day, Midsummer's Day compared Michael's Mass, also credited, also called Christmas Day in England, Michael in Wales, and our I messed that up. I apologize. Ladies, Lady Day, Midsummer's Day compared Michael Mass, also called Christmas Day in England, Wales, and Ireland, December 25th, one of the four quarter days. Late Old English. That Christie's Massey, M A E S S E, from Christ, but not retain the original vowel sounds and mass. Written as one word from mid 14th century, Father Christmas first attested in a carol attributed to Richard Smart, rector of the pine tree from 1435 to 77 Christmas. So Father Christmas is a carol written by a rector of a church to bring all this together to Christmas. Religion brought Santa Claus to Christmas. Religion brought Christmas as God. In these early references, Father Christmas, even though routinely an old and cheerful man, is largely connected with adult feasting and drinking. No children? What were they doing? Toxication? Cussing? Fornication? Adultery? Rather than giving a present. So there was no present. They were just getting drunk and adulterating. In this initial form, Father Christmas was not the supplier of gifts for small children, nor did he come down the chimney? He simply wandered around about from home to home, knocking on doors and feasting with the families before moving on to the next house. So he knocked on the door, hey, can I get drunk? I don't want milk and cookie. Cook cook I want some scotch. <laughs> oh, hey, okay, thank you. Hey, how you doing, Santa Claus here? Can I have a... Can I have a, a beer, please? Wow, man, I've been drinking so much today. I wonder if I can ride that sleigh. <laughs> well, hey, I like your wife over there. Let me go take her up there. I go to the next house. Uh -huh. Adult feasting and drinking. No wonder the kids weren't involved. I used to leave Santa milk. Should have left them bottle Jack Daniels. Mark 13, 15. And let him that is on the housetop not go down to the house. Neither enter therein to take anything out of the house. Luke 10, 7. In the same house remain, eating and drinking such as they give, for the labor is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. Acts 2, 46. And they continuing. Daily, with, with one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house, did eat with meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Acts 5, 42. And daily in the temple, in every house, they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. This guy, I'm having out a drink. Thank you. I don't want to talk about Jesus. This is the guy you bring to your son and your daughter on Christmas. Look up the English traditions of Christmas and all that. They are pornographic. The Ghost of Christmas Present in Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol, 1843, is based on Father Christmas. He is labeled as a large man, gluttony, with a red beard, red beard, and fur-lined green robe. Christmas Present, Charles Dickens, a Christmas Carol. A Christmas and a Carol, we've already talked about. 1823, a poem. A Visit from St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas. By Clement Clark Moore. 
ready Santa's image image common come twas the night before Christmas and all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse unclean the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Remember that we read that about St. Nicholas? He left some gold from some girls to get married in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I hope my children are hoping for Jesus Christ and not St. Nicholas. I hope my children are hoping for the rapture and not Christmas. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their head. Diabetes. And Mama and her kerchief and I and my cat had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. How long are you going to sleep? How are you going to sleep more than one night? Daniel 7 2. Daniel spank and said, I saw my visions by night, and behold, the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea. Daniel 8 26 to 27. The vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Wherefore shut up thou up the vision. For it shall be for many days, and I, Daniel, fainted, and was six certain days. Afterwards I rose up and did the king's business, and I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. Matthew 25, 6-7, And at midnight there was, was a great cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. American professor of Oriental and Greek literature, as well as divinity and biblical learning at the General Theology Seminary of the Protestant Episcopal Church. The Episcopal Church describes itself as being Protestant yet Catholic. And I am quoting, and I give the quote, sources. The church was organized shortly after the American Revolutionary Excuse me, after the American Revolution. American. We're in America now. When it was forced to separate from the Church of England, as the Church of England clergy were required to swear allegiance to the British monarch, who was the free governor of the Church of England. Today, the Church calls for full civil equality of gay and lesbian people. Romans 1, abomination. And the church general convention has passed resolutions that allow for same-sex marriage abomination in the states in which it is legal. The Episcopal Church ordains women. It's not Bible. To the priesthood as well as the deaconate and the episcopate. Clearly, clearly violating scriptures. Since 1911, the church of the intercession in Manhattan has held services that include the reading of the poem followed by the procession to the tomb of Claire, uh, Clement Clark Moore at the Trinity Cemetery the Sunday before Christmas. So a poem about our study has been read yearly in the church, a pack of lies, John 8, 4. They don't open the Bible, they read it. They read twas the night before Christmas. That's what they read on their church service night. And then they go march to a dead man's grave. As they did December, I forget, it was the 6th or 7th? of St. Nicholas. Halloween. Halloween is back in Christmas. The Episcopal Church teaches that morality is positive rather than negative. It is rooted in Jesus' summary of the law. To love God with heart, mind, and soul. And to love one's neighbor as oneself. The focus of Christian morality is not on laws and restrictions, but on free and mature response to God's love and response to our neighbors. Holy Bible lessons are read from it in, at every service. The Book of Common Prayer, which the service follows, is composed of both ancient and modern prayers and forms of service, and the hymnal, which includes both traditional and contemporary church music Matthew 6 5 through 8 when I was praised thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are for they love to pray standing in the synagogue in the corners of the street that they may be seen of men verily I say unto you they have their reward but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet when thou hast shut thy door 
Pray to the Father, which is in secret, that thy, that thy Father, capital F, which seeth thee in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, prayer book, as the heathen do, for they think that they should be heard for their much speaking. But ye therefore be ye be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father, capital F, knows what things you have need of before ye ask him. Um Uh, we're going to stop there for time. I thought we could get further, but we're going to stop right there. That's time. Picks up there. Are you ready to continue to follow this guy? We have gone from the Roman Catholic Church. We have gone to Lutherism. We have gone to trolls. We have gone to the Episcopal, we have gone to science, but we have not gone Bible. I mean, we've read from the Bible, we countered this guy by the Bible, but he has not yet been biblical. And we'll pick up Lord Boeing next time.